Hey, what's up everyone? Bennett Profixer, and in today's video, I wanted to show you this Exun P2408 and how to inject voltage with it. That's going to be the review today to show you how useful this is in the event that you do need to inject voltage into your device. You may be wondering, when do you need to do that? It's going to be if you have like a short on the motherboard and you're having issues, which is going to be a whole nother topic on how to discuss, but I wanted to show you the usefulness on injecting voltage. This particular one, to give you like a really quick overview of it, is basically three devices built into one. It actually has the banana plugs, which you can inject voltage with. It has the battery simulator right here, where you can plug in USBs that go to the battery connector in order to simulate a battery being plugged in, as well it has two charging ports on there, so you can monitor uh, battery charging. So it replaces a whole lot of devices, but the only one that we're gonna talk about today is the banana plugs and how you inject voltage with those and exactly how useful and convenient and user-friendly that is in a repair shop. Everything in my workbench is linked up in the description below, including this little guy, so be sure to check that out. As well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell so you can see all the newest videos as we release them. And one last thing before we go into the actual video of today. If you want to learn how to do micro soldering and the things that we show here on the channel, check out the link in the description below that says micro solder training. We have the longest training of any training provider in the repair industry. It's actually 90 days, which is three months. And we have multiple success and accountability coaches that will work with you. We have experts like myself and Jesse Cruz from the VCC Board Repair channel. And so we want to see if you are a good fit for our training. So click that link. You can apply and be in contact with one of our representatives to see if this is a good fit for you. Without further ado, let's get started with this particular review on how you can use the Axon P2408 to inject voltage into a motherboard that has a short. So like I mentioned before, this is the Axon P2408 that has multiple different devices built into one. Essentially, you've got a DT880. Uh, this is a replacement basically for that. Um, one of the things that I haven't really been able to test too much is how to actually boot with this device, which the DT880 makes it very convenient. The iPower Max makes it very convenient. You have the boot button on there where you can actually boot it. Uh, this one here, I played around with it a little bit, but I haven't been able to get it to boot, so I think I need to read the manual, which actually is pretty thorough, um, but it can be a little bit confusing at times because the terminology is a little bit backwards on some things. However, it's decently thorough and can walk you through all the steps. Uh, the purpose of this video is not to walk you through all these steps because it is kind of confusing. I'm still learning it myself, but I wanted to show you how to inject voltage into a device. So here in this one here, um, we have uh, the device itself. I kind of give you a little overview of the face here. If we go back, we can actually see the, uh, let's see if we can actually go back again. There we go. So we can see over here on the left-hand side, this is going to be um, where you have all your charge rates coming through. Um, you have your uh, voltage amperage and then your wattage as it calculates you know, both of those together. Um, and then you also do have what we see over here, the USB 3.0. That is actually the battery line here. So it's a battery simulator. Um, if you change this little knob and you see it highlights to it, that will actually activate whichever one that you're looking for. And then you'll select it and it'll be the active one on the screen. There are some other long button holds that you have to do, which reading the manual, it'll explain it very thoroughly. Um, but it's pretty simple in itself. However, a little bit confusing at first until you get used to it. Um, the one over here, these banana plugs, these are actually um, the ones that we're going to be using today. So I just plugged in um, and banana plugs that are connected to my uh, multimeter and um, just so I can have a, an injection point. Uh, so we've actually turned it to 4.2, uh, which if we go over to there, it's on it. And then there is a long button hold that you have to do, which I've already activated. And now this is in red. If we do another long button, I believe it should turn white. Yeah, see, there we go. And then the voltage just kind of um, goes down. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but if we do hold it down, we can see it locks it in at the 4.2, um, which is um, the voltage that we actually want. And as you can see here, if we do short it, uh, you'll actually see that you have the three amps that, uh, that pulls on the device there. So it's pretty cool and useful. Um, so I do have an iPhone 11 over here. I wanted to kind of show you that. Um, one of the interesting things with this is, uh, let's go ahead and go over to this view over here. Um, if we take a regular device and we go ahead and touch ground and then touch uh, the positive on the battery, we don't get any kind of voltage consumption at all. Um, but one of the interesting things here is if we go ahead and uh, do the same thing on this device, we'll notice that
but that's one of the really useful ways that you can inject voltage. Another really cool thing on here is, so as you see through the top of this, if I just simulate And that right there is actually another useful feature that you'll find when using this one here. However, one of the biggest problems whenever that right there is one of the biggest um, complaints that I do have about this particular one. And so I hope that you gather the details as I was explaining it and you heard very thoroughly. So with this Action P2408, that is actually one of the most annoying features. And as you probably noticed, it was absolutely annoying. You had no idea what I was saying. And so this particular device, I would say, I would highly not recommend if you're gonna be injecting voltage. Just pick up one of these until we can figure out how to remove the buzzer or turn it off. I have not been notified it anywhere in the instructions. That is the only thing that it does not tell you how to do. So this one right here, my review would definitely say, it works great in every other area except injecting voltage because it is the most annoying tool to use. And I believe the neighboring business over here is probably incredibly annoyed as they're hearing the beep all day long as well as the other technicians that work here as well. But I hope you enjoyed this very simple review of the Exun P2408 and to kind of gather a little bit about the most annoying feature on here and why I would not recommend it after I've used it for just a little bit. If we can get the beep to be removed, I would 100% recommend this. I think it's an amazing tool and actually it looks really cool too, which that's really not that important, um, but it is a really great looking tool and incredibly slim compared to some other solutions as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video and hit the notification bell so you see all the newest videos. And also don't forget to hit the links in the description below. So either you can pick up this one if the beeping doesn't annoy you, or you can check out a micro soldering program uh, where we can work with you for 90 days. But either way, we just love to continue interacting with you. So look out for future videos uh, that we're gonna be releasing as time goes on. And we really look forward to teaching you on those as well. Once again, my name is Ben Rosso from ProFixer and I'll see you on the next training. Bye-bye.